previously on building Benny's movie park. Let's go and start right here. This seems like a pretty good spot. Then we're gonna go all the way up and here we go down again. Maybe something like this could be cool. I guess for now we can just stick with this. Literally just copying stuff you've already built. As you can see, this is looking very solid. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. Today, we're gonna build some epic stuff. In fact, we're gonna make this area look a bit nicer because let's, let's face it, this looks awful. I guess let's get straight into it. Let's start with a very simple thing, a fence around this path because otherwise, I mean, we don't want people walking around everywhere. That's not how stuff works. Okay, wow, well, this is actually quite a lot of work. A few more. This is so freaking tedious. I regret my life decisions right now. Last one. Okay, that was literally awful, but I guess it does look pretty nice. Then of course we have to make an entrance sign because we do want to make sure people know this is actually the entrance and not just some random path. In this spark for a change, I'm actually going to put some info signs as well next to the rides. As you know, real life rides have this as well, so we may as well just do it here. Let's put two poles here so it can actually stand up. There there you go. The decal for this I'll make later because I have no idea what that's going to be yet. For a nice classic look, I'll make this sort of arch thing right here. There, that looks pretty good. We can make that wooden like so. And then on that, we can put the name of the ride, whatever that's going to be. If you have some nice ideas, make sure to let me know down below in the comments and maybe, who knows, maybe I'll pick yours. Maybe we can put some wooden planks on here to make it look a bit older and more man-built as if it was built like a long time ago. There you go, just like that. That is pretty cool. An idea I had for this area was to make a bunch of stuff out of bones, but I feel like that's, I just want to keep that for the actual skulls that are going to be laying around. I don't want to make it too bony bony <laughs> or maybe like an extra layer like this i like that that's that's pretty good as well anyways that looks pretty good then right now let's make the inside of this look a bit better and actually for the first time in a long time i'm gonna use these on grid elements that you can just put on the grid that's what on grid means. Anyways, I'll just put a bunch of these in here and hopefully that will suffice. Then some of these poles on the edges to finish that. Then in there, allow me to put some of these lamps as well to create some light. This one is flickering. The other ones uh, should maybe not be flickering, but it's still pretty cool. So now it looks something like this. It's very nice and simple. Just some rock. Maybe we can put some 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 gold or something in the walls or some blue crystals instead to kind of represent Godzilla. I am all for it. There you go. Look at that. And since NPCs can't access this anyway, we may as well make it nice and pretty. There you go. Oh, that is very smooth. And some detail on the sides here as well. That is looking very good. <laughs> then the last few poles on the sides here to really finish that off. And then we should be pretty much done with this bridge uh, type thing. I can't get over how smooth that looks. Just look at that. A roof would literally be perfect. Let's try it. Then like we did before, we can maybe put this mesh roof in there. I guess that kind of matches nicely with the building. That's good. And there you go. All done. Then towards the end here, it's pretty empty as well. So let's go and add a nice fence as well here. That's twice as well. <sighs> All the way to the exit. There you go. Nice and clean. We could just do the same kind of thing. Just like so. A nice, simple and yet detailed bridge. Did I just, did I literally just say simple yet detailed? What am I even saying? And there you go. Very simple, nice bridge. I like it. Then I think most of the built stuff is now finished, which means we can start adding some landscape stuff and some, uh, you know, fun stuff, I like to call it. It's, it's the most fun stuff we can possibly add. What am I even saying right now? Landscape. Guys, let's do the landscape. First things first, I want to actually finish this corner, which I completely forgot. I don't know why, but I kind of want to shield the backdrop so people don't see, uh, you know, this blue sky and these weird bushes. It has to be concealed very nicely. So to do that, I'll just add some simple mountains here as well. And I think Kong is going to be on these mountains. I'm not sure yet, but I guess that's the best spot for him. The landscape of Skull Island has a bunch of these very steep uh, mountains. So I'm trying to add those two a bit smaller, of course, but I want to sort of create that vibe it has. As you can see here, of course, this will look a lot better when I add rocks and everything and plants. But for now, I guess this is what I'm dealing with. Look, that is more like it. That's a bit more 
spike spiky they're spiky mountains now as you may have expected i'm gonna do everything but the rocks at first because you know we don't want to put rocks on stuff that are going to be covered anyway that would be an insane waste of time so let's first do the plains and with plains i mean these fields you can see here on skull island there's a bunch of these plains and grass with uh, you know water and stuff that's what i'm going to create right here basically everything around the queue is going to be grassy and i feel like this would be good for the primary green color for the grass grass just seems to be a bit more bright for some reason i'm not sure if this will look amazing but i guess we can always change it later you know how this goes nothing we can't handle doing these kind of repetitive things always makes me kind of thirsty i feel like i need a drink how about what if we add some water under here and then some plants just like skull island and then make this wooden as if it is some sort of like uh what you call that i don't know you get what i mean in general i feel like this looks a lot better doesn't it look and then in here we put some water like that does that look nice at all i think it does i think it does so then we basically just have to add a ton of these guys around the edges here and there and you know yeah well around the edges that's exactly what i need to say nothing else this is so much work is it worse than rocks though no then as you may have expected i'm also going to add some of these lily pads which i think could improve this even further there you go and maybe some inverted ivy on the edges here on the edges i'm gonna make some of these very nice kind of natural looking fences the type that are built up from wooden logs reaching all the way to this spot right here and then of course the very same thing on the other side of the path as well just right here there you go and this is how i'm gonna go all around the these poles to kind of make it look nice and natural this is literally my new favorite way of making fences just look at how great that looks i don't know why i'm just a huge fan of this it looks amazing in my opinion okay so now this whole thing is kind of done up until this point this looks pretty good in my opinion so then i think it's time to place down some trees I'm using this example of Skull Island to kind of base this around. So basically near the foot of the mountain, I'm going to add a bunch of these trees that are technically bushes, trees, kind of stuff. Then in the middle, there's going to be more rocky areas, not too much, but just a little. And then above that, there's going to be a bunch of trees again. It's all pretty straightforward. There you go. Some of these big ones as well. This looks kind of weird, but I hope this will look better towards the end. Also, the color is awful. Let's do something about that. Let's, I guess, just go for the same sort of color i do for the grass kind of like that i suppose is a bit better yes yep that is a lot better i feel like this may just turn out pretty freaking good i'm also adding some of these dead bushes or trees in between to make it look a bit more natural i feel like without that it doesn't really look like trees more just random green blobs which i don't like a lot there you go that looks just a bit more natural okay so i've got a bit of stuff done here and first i will add some rocks to this to see what that looks like because i want to make sure it looks nice before i put effort in everything and then at the end it turns out to be absolute dog shit. And I have to do everything all over again. So let me just put some rocks here. Nice and simple. Nothing too crazy. And these aren't going to be the standard gray color. I want a bunch of different colors in there. Because this looks not gray to me at all. Like it has gray parts. But there's also a bit of beige and brown. And you know cool colors. So let's be epic and add some more colors to this as well. I feel like this color is pretty good for the base color basically then we can also add some more brownish like that i don't know maybe it's a bit of everything maybe and i think overall this would look pretty good this will make these rocks look very nice and tall which is kind of the vibe i'm trying to get you know these mountains in skull island are pretty freaking steep and guess what guys this is what i'm gonna have to do to this entire landscape except for back here this is going to look a bit different i'll explain that later first we just have to really just you know spread up spread around some trees and Play some rocks and die. Brain dead mode turned on. Just place in a bunch of trees. There you go. Some more rocks. I'm not going to do everything this episode, guys, because that will just be tedious as hell. I'm just going to do some bits every now and then, and then hopefully it'll be done at some point. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know. And this little bit here under the bridge as well. Very important to make that look nice. So many rocks. It's a miracle I don't dream about rocks yet. It's uh, quite uh, insane. Okay, so as you can see, I've done quite a bit of stuff uh, by now. However, before continuing, I first want to make the crosswalk. Crosswalk? Sidewalk? 
walking area next to the chain lift. Beachman had an amazing word for it, I forgot. Anyways, I'm just gonna do that right now, let's see. Okay, let me make the base right here, all the way up, looking pretty nice. Up until right about here, and then a bit of a round bit until there, I guess, and that should be all great. All great. Then at the bottom, I'm going to add these supports, basically attaching it to the track. Otherwise, it's uh, floating. Not great. See, that looks pretty badass. And like always, a little fence on the side here. Last few of these. And then as you can see, that is looking pretty, pretty nice. An idea I had just very quick in between is if the water goes down here and then with a waterfall enters here, we can put some water in there. There you go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I actually like that. So, of course, this has to be very rocky as well. Actually, let's do that now because this looks awful. Just like on the other side, these are just going to be a ton of rocks kind of stacked on top of each other to make the shape of this uh, chasm just a bit more natural and nice because this is not it. Even under the track right here, we have to make it nice and stony, rocky. Stony sounds very weird. Just like that, all the way till the water. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually starting to look so nice right about now. It's getting shaped, like the whole thing. Look at that. You know what I just realized? Right here at the block break, we also want to have like this thing right next to the track. To the track. <laughs> Speaking is going so well today, guys. It is incredible. I'm just adding some detail on the bottom here as well. Wouldn't it be cool if this one is uh, metal plates as well? I feel like that's kind of nice for this one. Is that a bit too much? No, I like it. It gives a bit of variety because everything here is wooden. It's insane. And then like this, we can make that a nice fence as well. Very good. That actually looks nice. Guys, I literally forgot the most important thing ever. Palm trees. Remember how I said that palm trees are my favorite trees, yada yada, and then I forget to actually put them in. I mean, I'm just going to place a few down here, I guess. This will add some nice variety, it will add some more leaves to all of this. It'll simply just make it a bit better, I would say. Most of all, it's just more tropical because that's kind of what I'm missing right now up until this point. Skull Island is foresty, it's tropical, it's warm, it's, you know, that sort of stuff. There you go, see? That does it for sure. It shouldn't be a palm tree overload though. It has to be sort of subtle. Also, I just decided the water is going to go all the way in that tunnel as well too. Because I feel like we just don't have enough water. Teachman just right now pointed out that Skull Island does have quite a lot of water. And I knew that, but I mean, this is a simple way, an easy way to actually make that happen. And so I feel like I simply have to take advantage of that. Very, very nice. There you go. Then let's go and add some rocks around this side as well. I mean, we have to do the whole thing eventually, so you may as well just get as far as we can right now. Well, no. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna do some stuff. Because as far as I can is finishing the whole park, and that's not, no. Hell no. Never underestimate saying what you can do. You can do a lot. Do you want to? Is it healthy? That's a different story. Well, guys, this is what I have now. I feel like this is a very, very good start. Or, well, it's not technically a start, but a lot of progress for one episode. That is for sure. All in all, I feel like this looks pretty freaking good. The thing is, though, I don't really get Skull Island vibes, but I guess that changes the moment we add maybe some temples, some actual bones and skulls. And of course, Kong in the corner there, I guess he's just gonna be there. It makes the most sense. So that is going to be epic. Uh, however, for today, I feel like that's pretty much it. So let me know down below what your idea is for the name for this ride. And then I guess that's it. If you like this video, make very, very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a single video. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park. <laughs>